What's happening? Opening day 2016, hunting with Hadaway. Had a fine morning this morning. <clears throat> the original bird I was after this morning stayed on the roost till 7.30 this morning. Never would come off the roost. Had a bunch of hens up the tree with him. This bird come in from a long ways off. <clears throat> started gobbling there real. Started getting a little closer and closer. I heard the bird was behind me, so I turned around, put the camera behind me. And uh, I finally got situated where I could look back behind me, you'll see in the video. And a bird comes up right beside me, 20 yards. And I'm turned as far as I can to the left, looking back behind me. And he's on my right, 20 yards. I can hear his wings scraping the ground. I can hear the briars grabbing on his wings, stuff like that. Wasn't nothing I could do, had to let him walk off. I just sat there froze. He went back down in the, into a bottom down below me towards the bird I was originally targeting that was gobbling all morning. When he went back down in there, as soon as he got out of here, and I turned and faced the original way I was facing, thinking that he was going to make a loop and come on out into the road, which is a little strut zone I had found. Uh, a few days earlier, I out walking and had scouted these turkeys. I walked miles and miles to find these birds and find where they was uh, their little strut zone. When he walks back down in the bottom, I turn around and face back the other way. And uh, as soon as I turn around and face back the other way, he had to across the road behind me. I made a loop and come right back across the road where I was just facing. And uh, crossed the road and got on the other side. Well, then I'm I'm kind of screwed. When he finally gobbles on the other side of the road, I'm like, well, dang, he just crossed behind me. So I'm sitting there and there ain't really a whole lot I can do. He's right beside me. He was so close I could hear the, the bass in his gobble when they get within 50 yards. Their gobble changes, you know, hey, he's right on top of me. You can start hearing the bass in it. <clears throat> so uh, I was sitting there and I saw him step out into an opening and blow up full strut. When he stepped out in that opening, uh, there wasn't no way I could get my camera around there. I was scared he was going to see me. So uh, I eased my shotgun up. He picked his head up. But just that little bit of movement he caught. Picked his head up. When he picked his head up, I let him have it. <clears throat> Got a 9-inch beard. And one of them's a 5-8-inch spur. And the other one's 3 quarters. I'm guessing him to weigh between 16 and 18. I ain't got no way of weighing him right now. But, uh. Hunt with Hadaway. Hope you enjoy the video.
Right here, the turkey has come up to my left. He's about 20 yards to my left, and I'm froze. I can't move. I'm turned as far as I can to the left, and there's no way I can turn to the right. That's how you do it in South Alabama. Got him, son. Put it on his ass. <laughs>